Hello everybody, welcome back to our channel. So today in this video, we'll be showing you how to do this wedding reception or walima look. Hope you all like it. Starting off with prepping our eyes with a concealer and setting it with a powder. So I'm taking this matte brown shade as a transition color and uh, blending it on the crease. Uh, using this beautiful bronze color on the outer corner and blending it with a blending brush. Next I'm taking this beautiful golden shimmer shade on a flat brush and patting it on the lips. Back with the transition shade and blending all the edges. I'm just intensifying all the colors again. Now once I'm happy with the blending and the colors, I'm patting this color essence glitter I'm not using any glue, just dusting it. I'm blending everything again with a clean brush. Highlighting a brow bone with Prosecco Pop from the Becca palette. Now I'm drawing a very thin liner uh, because if you draw too thick liner on her eyes, you probably won't see anything else except the liner. Now here I'm using the Victoria Gel Liner in black. using the Estee Lauder Mascara in ex Extreme Black. I'm filling her eyebrows with the Makeup Revolution Eyebrow Kit. I'm just following her natural shape. Adding on some natural looking falsies. I'm doing a very tiny wing. I always do the wing after the lashes. I find it very easy. And see, isn't it looking so beautiful? Okay, so now let's start with the face. Uh, prepping the face with vitamin E serum and radiance cream. I never miss this step. Okay, I'm using uh, the NC42 MAC Concealer. Now this concealer has an orange tint to it, so it's perfect for dark circles or any pigmentation. And look at Amber in the background. We totally forgot that we were filming. And selfie time! Okay, so now coming back uh, for foundation, I'm going to be using a combination of MAC NC42 and Rimmel foundation because uh, I found MAC very thick. In the Fariset fixing spray and uh, blending it with a sponge. Using a NARS concealer in the shade Ginger to highlight. Now this is just half a shade lighter to her skin. I usually never go too light with the highlight on my clients, especially if they have like intense dark circles. And mashallah her skin looks so flawless. Now I'm baking her under eye with RCMA no color powder. contouring using the darkest shade from Victoria concealer palette as she has larger forehead I'm gonna be contouring that as well contouring. dusting off the bake now and setting rest of the face with the same RCMA powder 
For powder contour, I'm using the Kat Von D Shade and Light palette. For lower lash line, I'm using this beautiful teal color office liner. Now these are very creamy gel liner pencils. I think Maybelline uh, has the same color. Now to set that liner, I'm using this gorgeous aqua color from this palette with a smaller blending brush. Now we chose this color obviously because of a beautiful outfit. For powder highlight, I'm using Prosecco Pop from uh, this Becca palette. For blush, I'm using uh, this pink shimmer shade from the same Becca palette. Fixing everything in place. For lipstick, we're using a uh, Victoria lipstick BBD39. It's a beautiful pinky red matte lipstick. Okay, just a note that after the makeup was done, uh, I realized that uh, her, uh, I realized that because of the RCMA no color powder, uh, there was a white cast under her eyes, and um, I just um, dusted some Victoria banana powder. You can use any banana powder. Uh, and it was all fine after that. With that we finished this video and I hope you all enjoyed it. Now this was specifically a makeup tutorial video. Uh, if you all want us to do more of hair tutorials then please comment below and please don't forget to like, share and subscribe. Bye bye.